れって。Hello everyone, Dizzy Rose here. Welcome back, or welcome if you are new here. In this video, we will be discussing some animals from the prehistoric era. These animals are called the marine reptiles, and we do have some reptiles today, like some snakes, turtles, lizards, and crocodiles. But what was in the ocean back then, though? There are many different marine reptiles, like the mosasaurids, plesiosaurids, pliosaurids, and the biggest of them all, the ichthyosaurids. And a quick reminder: I will not be mentioning marine mammals like whales or even fish like sharks. And this video is specifically covering only marine reptiles. Marine reptiles are not dinosaurs at all, but are relative to them. I will not be mentioning crocodiles since they are more semi-aquatic. But some crocs like Metriorhynchids were fully aquatic. But I will only focus on fully aquatic animals here that make this list. There are many sizes for these animals that are outdated and very confusing to the public. But I will try my best to give the best reliable estimates for each animal we will cover today. I did my own research, and it took time, and it is very hard to find reliable sources. And sometimes Google is not the best insight since it can be misleading. Let's get into the top 15 marine reptiles as of right now, and sizes are always subject to change even after this video. Number 15, Temnodontosaurus platyodon. This animal was an extinct genus of ichthyosaur from the early Jurassic period. They lived between 200 and 175 million years ago. It was the first ichthyosaur skull ever discovered. The specimen, BMNH 2149, now NHMUKPV R1158, was found in the Lias of Lyme Regis by Joseph Anning in 1811. The rest of the skeleton was recovered in 1812 by his sister, Mary Anning, but was later lost and never recovered. This animal looked like a dolphin-like shark in appearance and was a top predator where it thrived. They had powerful, robust teeth for hunting other ichthyosaurs and fish. Despite its slender jaws, it could generate a strong bite. This killer could grow 10 meters and 8 tons, making it even bigger than an orca. Number 14, Tylosaurus pro rigor. Tylo is a genus of mosasaur, a large predatory marine reptile closely related to modern monitor lizards and snakes, from the late Cretaceous, about 92.1 to 66 million years ago. The skull of this animal was about 5.6 feet long, and a specimen called FHSM VP2496 could have been even bigger. This animal, like the mosasaurus, had a slender build and a strong skull for ramming. It would have been a top predator, but bigger mosasaurs would have gave it trouble. Tylosaurus would have preyed on sharks, other marine reptiles, and fish. The size for this animal is pretty controversial, and there were sizes of 18 meters and 20 to 30 tons in the past. But the most reliable length for this species of Tylosaurus is about 12.2 meters and 10 tons. There was an estimate of a 16 meter and 22 ton by Fadeno, but this is probably an over-exaggerated size. Number 13, Pliosaurus funke, Predator X, or what is now known as Pliosaurus funke, lived about 150 million years ago in the Jurassic. This killer was a Pliosaurus, and unlike the Mosasaurs, the Pliosaurs had a more robust build with bigger jaws and longer flippers. It was thought to possibly been the biggest pliosaurus ever, at 15 meters long and 40 tons. Now that the fossils of this pliosaur have been reconstructed more, studied and identified as a species of pliosaurus, more accurate reconstructions have now been put together. This has seen the speculated size of Predator X, now as Pliosaurus funke, estimated at somewhere between 8 and 10 meters long and 8 tons. This animal would have an incredible bite force with its two-meter skull and was the top predator of its time. A quick honorable mention was a ichthyosaur. Guanlingsaurus is an extinct genus of Shastasaurid ichthyosaur from the late Triassic of China. It grew up to 8.3 meters length and has a wide, triangular skull with a short and toothless snout. Number 12 is the Pliosaurus gang. For this spot, there are so many Pliosaurids that were very similar in length and mass that I have to put them all in one category. Like Pliosaurus funkai, these were all top predators in their environments. Pliosaurus macromeris, Pliosaurus rossicus, Arimberi pliosaurus, Monoquirosaurus, and Abingdong pliosaurus were anywhere between 8-12 meters long and about 8-12 tons, making them one of the biggest pliosaurs. There's only a few pliosaurids that can surpass these animals in size. Most pliosaurs were downsized after we found more fossils, and some of these animals were thought to be 20 plus tons. Which is clearly a overestimate for pliosaurs now. Number 11, Mosasaurus hoffmani. So guys, this is probably some of your favorite prehistoric animals, yeah? Before we break it down, let's clear something up. 
The Jurassic World and Park franchises are not scientifically accurate in their creatures. Some of them do not look how they would look in the real world and some are very exaggerated in size. As for Mosasaurus, the Jurassic World, Mosa is not a real depiction of the real-life Mosasaurus at all. The real one was much smaller and looked very different. The real-life Mosasaurus lived from about 82 to 66 million years ago, during the Campanian and Maastrichtian stages of the late Cretaceous. It was also likely the biggest Mosasaurid ever, and was the biggest predator of the late Cretaceous period. Even the T-Rex wouldn't mess with this guy in the water. Mosasaurids are relatives of snakes and lizards, and these killers hunted just about anything like plesiosaurs, mosasaurs, fish, sea turtles, and even dinosaurs that went to close to the water's edge. It could ambush prey at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. This snake-like animal was thought to be 60 feet long, but again, another overestimate. The specimen, CCMGE 102469, was a 4.7 feet skull, also known as the Penza specimen, and estimated to be 11-12 meters and 10.4 tons. Also another specimen, a very fragmentary individual called NHMM 09002, was estimated to be 14 to 15 meters and 15 tons, but this is very controversial and the 10-ton estimate is much more reliable. Number 10, Chronosaurus. Chronosaurus, or now known as Iectus longami, name is up for debate because I heard some scientists still use Chronosaurus, but I'm not 100% sure on this. Chronosaurus should still be valid due to recent papers still using this name. This killer lived about 120 to 100 million years ago in the late Cretaceous. It had an elongated head, a short neck, a stiff body propelled by four flippers, and a relatively short tail. The posterior flippers were larger than the anterior. This animal was likely a very fast swimmer. The Chronosaurus can reach up to 11 meters and weigh 12 to 13.5 tons, making it one of the biggest marine reptile predators ever. The skull was about 9.4 feet long, filled with durable teeth for crushing its prey. Number 9. Aristonectes. This long-necked reptile, some of you may call it, or Loch Ness Monster, was a member of the long-necked plesiosaurids that consisted of species like Elasmosaurus, Styxosaurus, and many more others. Aristonectes was the biggest of them all. These animals mostly ate smaller things like fish compared to its more deadly pliosaurid cousins who preyed on bigger creatures. This giant lived in the late Cretaceous about 70 to 66 million years ago. According to its morphology, mainly cranial, Aristonectes fed by mixing prey and sediment in the benthic zones, like the modern gray whale. This giant was 13 tons and 12 meters long. Number 8. Jurassic Coast Pliosaurus. Yeah, people, another Pliosaurus we have here. This is a new species that was discovered recently. The 2 meter 6 foot 5 inch long fossil is one of the most complete specimens of its group ever discovered and is giving new insights into this ancient predator and Pliosaurus themselves. It lived about 150 million years ago in the Jurassic and is estimated at 12 meters long and possibly 10 plus tons, meaning it was definitely one of the biggest Pliosaurids ever. It preyed on smaller ichthyosaurs and ambushed them with its high senses. Number 7. Sachicosaurus vitae. It lived about 130 to 120 million years ago in the Cretaceous. Sachicosaurus is an extinct genus of Brachiocanini, a relative of Chronosaurus, and was a pliosaurid known from the Baramean of the Paja Formation, Altiplano Cundiboyacensi, in the Colombian eastern ranges of the Andes. The holotype specimen, MP1191, was found in 2013 but not named until 2018 and is known from a near-complete skull and postcranial elements including a complete hind limb and various vertebrae from a subadult. It would have been around 10 to 11 meters and 13.5 to 15 tons. This is possibly the biggest pliosaurid known. Another pliosaurus called NHM symphysis was thought to have been 17 tons, but I will not get into this one since it is extremely fragmentary and the sizes are just all over the place. Now we passed all the Mosasaurids, Plesiosaurids, and Pliosaurids. The next group of marine reptiles are very overlooked and some of these animals were even more ferocious than the creatures we just listed, and probably would even hunt them as well. Number 6. Symbospondylus youngorum. The bigger ichthyosaurs are about to finish this list and to start of we got the slender Symbospondylus. Symbospondylus was an early ichthyosaur that lived between the early and middle Triassic period about 249-237 million years ago. 
Symbospondylus consisted of medium to large sized species. Thus, some species of the genus reached enormous proportions. The biggest species was Symbospondylus youngerum. In appearance, this animal kinda looks like a Mosasaurus, but was indeed much bigger. It was around 15, 17 meters long and was thought to have been 45 tons. But the mass was an overestimate because it was scaled using Shaunosaurus, another ichthyosaur that was much bulkier and different in appearance. If you calculate the body mass using Chauhusaurus and Utatsusaurus with its 3D models which have similar robustness to Symbospondylus, then it will be much lighter at around 15, 22 tons. According to a well-known skeletal artist named Chang Jingin, it had a two-meter skull as well. This animal likely ate soft-bodied prey and other marine reptiles. Number five, Temnodontosaurus trigonodon bands. Like its smaller species, Platycodon and many others, it was another species of Temnodontosaurus and was even bigger. They lived between 200 and 175 million years ago in the Jurassic period, and this specimen is based on only vertebrae and very fragmentary. But based on other Temnodontosaurids, we can estimate this animal was about 16.1 meters and 21 tons, according to an expert named Darius Now. Other estimates, but this guy had a smaller 1356 meters long by Paleonard though, so it's very debatable. Pliosaurids are usually thought to have ruled the Jurassic era, but Temnodontosaurids like bands seems to suppress every Pliosaurid in size and power. These killers had a powerful bite at 9 tons of force despite its slender jaws and had the biggest eyes at around 8 inches wide. This means this killer can hunt in deep depths as well. Compared to a Mosasaurus, this guy would definitely come out on top if they met up. Number 4. Shonosaurus popularis Before we get into this animal, we need to clear a few things up now. This animal is depicted to be the biggest marine reptile at 80 tons, but this is a big overestimate and was much smaller according to recent studies. This animal was also depicted as a filter feeder, and even some claims said this animal had teeth when they were younger and lost them when becoming adults. But this was debunked heavily. These animals actually had teeth throughout their entire lives. A study by Motel et al. in 2013 debunked filter feeding in Triassic and early Jurassic ichthyosaurs. Also, this animal is often mixed up with its cousin called Shastasaurus. Both of these animals are very different in appearance while Shoni had deeper ribs and Shasta had a more slimmer body. Anyways guys, let's get into this non-filter feeder. Shonisaurus popularis specimens have been found in the looning formation of Nevada, USA. This massive killer had a 9-foot skull, and the formation dates to the late Carnian age of the late Triassic period, about 237 to 227 million years ago. This animal was very bulky in appearance, and had a strange, elongated beak-like jaws. Shaunosaurus also migrated and gathered in large populations because of prey, social and reproductive behaviors. Despite having a elongated snout and thin-looking jaws, these animals' deeply rooted teeth can handle the high stresses when grasping large prey. The sectoral teeth on Shaunosaurus were robust and capable of tackling bigger animals. It would have been a top predator, and the size of this animal was about 15 meters and 26 tons. Again, this animal was a predator, not a filter feeder. Another thing, this giant was very fast according to a study suggesting some ichthyosaurs could travel up to 40 miles per hour in short bursts. Also being a good rammer according to fossils evidence from its cousins, this chunky guy you wouldn't want to encounter. Number 3. Shastasaurus sicayaniensis. Like its cousin the Shonosaurus, this animal is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur from the middle and late Triassic, about 235-205 million years ago. Specimens have been found in the United States, Canada, and China. The Shastasaurus sicaniensis was thought to have been the biggest marine reptile ever at 81 tons and 21 meters by Sander El Al in 2021. But this is an overestimate because they simply scaled up our friend Shonisaurus popularis, whose ribs are much longer than Shastasaurus, and its body was much more deep compared to other ichthyosaurus. A professional named Darius Now used a better based model to extrapolate a more reliable mass estimate using Guizhou Ichthyosaurus tangai, another ichthyosaurus in the Shastasaurid family. Its body is similar in geological detail and appearance to Shastasaurus. They scaled this animal with Shastasaurus sicaniensis and got a better mass estimate at 34 tons and 18 meters. Some sources give this animal a 40 ton weight. Also, this animal did not have any teeth that we found, so it was possibly a ram feeder, but who knows. 
We also have fossil evidence that Shastasaurids rammed each other during aggressive confrontations. So this means Shaunasaurus, Himalayasaurus, and many others were rammers as well. Number two, Himalayasaurus, Tibetensis. Now we are onto the biggest confirmed Mesozoic predator ever. This animal makes all crocodilians, Mosasaurids, and Pliosaurids look like ants. This killer was the size of a humpback whale. Himalayasaurus is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur from the late Triassic Kulangongba formation of Tibet, about 215 to 212 million years ago in the late Triassic. This marine reptiles was a relative of Shaunasaurus and Shastasaurus, but was much more predatory. They had cutting edges on their teeth for ripping prey. It was also a top predator of its time and likely had no competition. Himalayasaurus had a two meter skull that was incredibly robust. The description of Himalayasaurus was based upon very incomplete postcranial remains. And most interestingly, teeth that were unlike any other Triassic aged ichthyosaur that had been seen at the time. These teeth were larger, more flattened, and with cutting edges. It was estimated to have a bite of 83,000 newtons or more. Our friend here was about the same length as Megalodon and Liviatan at 15 meters but weighed about 35 tons. Thought the Mosasaurus was the deadliest Mesozoic animal of the sea. Well think again people, we have some more contenders who outclassed our Mosasaurus friend here. Before we go on to number one, I have an honorable mention. The Swiss Tyrant. This underrated killer is thought to have been a relative of Himalayasaurus and is only known from a large tooth and possibly some vertebrae. The Swiss Tyrant lived about 205 million years ago in the Swiss Alps. It is the biggest Mesozoic predator ever at 55 tons and 18.17 meters scaling with Himalayasaurus. Being this big, it would have been the size of the average Megalodon shark. Like Himalayasaurus, it was a top predator and very overlooked. Also, this killer could have a bite force of 112,000 newtons scaling from Temnodontosaurus. The Swiss Tyrant is still being researched and is not talked about by the public and is still fairly new. Number 1. The three fragmentary giants that are the L. Lilstock monster, Aos Colossus and Hector's Ichthyosaur and the Hector's specimen is missing. All these animals are thought to have been massive Shastasaurids and part of the Ichthyosaurus family. They are thought to have been ram feeders, as of right now, since there is no teeth for them. Eost and Lilstock lived about 205 million years ago in the UK. In the Triassic, and Hector's lived somewhere in New Zealand. Lilstock was about 43 to 108 tons and 26 meters. Eost Colossus is about 167 to 257 tons and 35 meters, making it possibly the biggest animal ever. Hector's is extremely dubious, but some estimates put it at 300 to 500 tons and 40 plus meters. That is a insane weight and length for any animal, so we do not know, guys. Anyways, people, that is my top 15 marine reptiles for now. I am really thankful for the support, and I would have never thought to reach 1,000 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the video and more on the way. Everyone take care.